DrakersLincoln.com. Join us on Saturday, March 16th for Taylor Swift Night at the Icebox. We'll be jamming to the best hits from Travis Kelsey's girlfriend all night, and you can be part of the fun, too. The first 500 fans in attendance will receive a friendship bracelet, while the first 200 fans will get a star Taylor Swift-themed poster. Are you ready for it? Get your tickets now at LincolnStars.com. The captain for Sean Jackson. I said shout out to Dennis LeBlanc. I mean, if somebody's going to replace Trev that knows Nebraska, that knows the players, that knows everything going on, it's Dennis LeBlanc. Dennis LeBlanc is exactly what we need. Golly, Trev put us in a bad spot. Horrible spot. Dennis is someone who where, where the, the fall won't be as hard with Dennis there. Trust me. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. At Fairway Meat Market, your family. And as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now through March 17th, prepare for St. Patrick's Day with great options like corned beef brisket point cuts for $3.99 per pound and six packs of Guinness for just $4.88 when you buy at least $5.01 in fresh meat. And for ticket listeners only, get USDA Choice Eye of Round Roast for $3.99 per pound. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Shopping Square Center just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Step into healing at Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Our team of top-notch medical professionals turns pain into progress with state-of-the-art treatments and compassionate care. Visit prairieortho.com and discover the difference in quality orthopedic and plastic surgery services tailored to your unique needs. Your health matters and Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery is dedicated to helping you thrive. Reach your full potential. Embrace a better tomorrow with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Early break with Sip and Jake. Tomonaga was hot for the Huskers. He had 30 points in the ball game. They are, I'm just, they are a lot for the tournament. They are Ooh. in. They are a lot. Write it down. Nothing could take away Nebraska Where do you have them at? Well, I, I'm curious if Philatology and Jake are on the same page. I'd say eight to nine seed right now. I don't think they're the ten. I say an eight. Okay. I say an eight the same seed page right there. now. Eight that's to nine. That's seed. right. I see as an eight. Early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first. 93.7 The Ticket. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be ready. It's time to go one-on-one with DP. Coming at you live from the Koppel Chevrolet GMC Studios, here is your host, Derek Pearson. Brought to you by Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Happy Friday. Congratulations, you made it. You got through... That journey of yours this week, you got through the friction, you got through the drama, you made it. It is time for you to take a deep breath and exhale. You made it to Friday, the dawn of it. You did your thing. Well done. 
Well done. Well done. 402 464 5685. Sarder Heyman text line. You want to join in? You want to you want to be heard? We're gonna listen. It's a great one to be heard because on the text line tonight, you get to text in, ask questions to. The word legend is overused. The legend. Coach. Ron. Wow. Joins us. Coach, how are you? How are you? I had to laugh, man. (laughs) It's like, who is he talking about? (laughs) I I, I keep saying, I'm not a legend. Uh, Well, here's here's the thing. Here's what I know to be true. That in times of chaos, there's long lines of success and lessons learned. Hmm. And you have been through the fire you have walked on heated stone. You have gone through the cold days and nights. Mm. You have gotten through the darkest days of Nebraska athletics and gotten to the brightest. You, If a thing can happen in this athletic department, you have seen it, and you have talked people through it. You led them through it, and you did it when people didn't know that you were the voice of leadership. They didn't know when it was your hand that opened up to people, to young people who were often lost, misdirected, misguided, misplaced. And in a chaotic world, they reached out their hand to Coach Brown. And Coach Brown gave them wisdom. He gave them love. He gave them direction. All of that is the statement of truth. And that is some legendary stuff, Coach. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for your vote of confidence, DP. I appreciate that. I, I thought I've seen it all, but I obviously haven't. <laughs> and, and and I would say that, um, you know, I've come up with a, a little bit of a foundational saying for me here in the last uh, few years. I need to be heavy on the truth and light on my feet. <laughs> Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yeah. yeah. And and I really think that uh, life is like that. I, you know, sometimes we think, ah, oh, everything's just the same. It's all mundane, this, that, and the other. But um, then all of a sudden, boom, we hit a <laughs> we hit a pothole, uh-huh. and and the wheel flies off, and everything else. And then you realize, you know, this has happened more than once, and it will continue to happen. And I, and I think we are, to a degree, called to be heavy on the truth and light on our feet. And and if we're not, then um, the fall hurts even more and it takes a little longer to get back up. Well, you fall more lightly than most because you have a foundation to work from. You're you've got a solid core to work from. And I think that gets missed. Like people think that, okay, when drama happens, uh, how you bounce back and recall from it, but look, your foundation is good because you know why you're here. You know what your mission is, you know what you're doing and why you do it. Hmm. You know, there's a Bible verse that says, uh, keep your heart with all diligence for out of it come the issues of life. And, and, I, and I'm beginning to see in my older age here that things don't work outside in. Uh, they really work inside out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and what's, you know, it's, it's again, that car that's sitting in the driveway that looks good. It looks like it goes fast. It's beautiful, but um, you better look under the hood to make sure there's an engine in there mm-hmm. that can run. And, and be careful what gas you're putting in it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> right? That's, they tell you, right. check the car, Mac. You better know who's, who really owned it. <laughs> that's right. You better, know, you better know, understand who made decisions mm-hmm. about that car before you got it. Because that that <laughs> a lot of what happens here hmm. is – the 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 kind of confusion between the people the process and the purpose hmm. that in the athletic department and the people who listen to this show and this station are fans of the games and the people who play them they're fans of the game and the people who play them mm-hmm. and then what you hope is that the people who are leading them are as good of heart and character as they are about what they love and who they love. Mm. You want 
coaches and leadership to love on the young people that in their charge the way you do. Well, again, I, I, I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity to even be here. I, I love the state. I love the, uh, the, the mission of, of sports and the fact that the Lord put me in there. I don't even think I had a say in it. I think I just have always loved ball since I was just a little boy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, so much, uh, obviously, of what goes on in our life is, um, is God-ordained, I believe. But, you know, I think my desire, DP, really is to be a pointer and not, you know, I'm not a source. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just hopefully a conduit of the source and a pointer of the directions that, um, you know, to the best of my ability, we can see at that moment, just nuggets of wisdom, which for me comes from my relationship with the Lord and my study in his word. You, you said a thing and you were before the show, you were, you were talking to my wife, Rebecca, mm -hmm. and her dad is one of the greatest human beings I've ever, I've ever known. And he, he, he gave me a thing and I use the quote all the time. He says, if you're looking for me, don't miss me. Look forward and up because that's where everything good is. Mm. <laughs> and when I reach a point of friction, I have to use that thing, the good thing, to pro propel me forward and up. If I don't know which way to go, go forward and up. That, that should be the mission. That should be the task. That should be the purpose. Mm. I like that. I, I like that saying, but look forward and up. In fact, you know what it reminded me of? I was sharing this with my wife that I actually made. I did what my basketball coach did for me in the sixth grade. He he said, "Look, son, you you got you've got a, an opportunity maybe to be a good player." So what he did is he his first basketball present to me wasn't even a ball. It was a pair of glasses. He had a pair of sunglasses. He punched out the the, the glass and he put tape on the bottom of the glass. And he said, put these on, and here's a ball, and I start dribbling. Well, I was used to dribbling with my head down looking at the ball. And he said, look, uh, uh, can you see the ball? He said, I can't see the ball. I, I said, coach, I need to see the ball. He said, no, you don't. That's the problem. You're dribbling the ball, and you're missing a good ball game, man. So get your eyes up. And, and I, I believe that's true in life. I believe that when your eyes are constantly down here on planet Earth, and you're making comparisons and you're always battling other people for rebound position and they compare, you know, this, I need that. I need what he's got. And what about me? And I'm in my feelings. And what about me? And it's all of that. Uh, I realize that my eyes need to be up. They need to be at the Lord. And that's, that's where my help comes from. And, and then it's like putting on the oxygen mask. I can now breathe well enough, maybe to help somebody else. Through all of that, right? That the vision and 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 this week has been a weird week. There's no other way to say mm -hmm. um, that to describe this week. Mm -hmm. Chaotic. Um, there were some folks who 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 felt some pain, found some uh, some questions, and I thought it was important for this station to point mm -hmm. to point that don't forget the young people who you cheer for. Don't forget the people who get you to reach in your pocket and buy tickets for you to take your time, spend your gas money, come to Memorial Stadium, PBA, the Vanny Center. Don't forget the coaches that love the fans the way the fans love them. You'll get caught up in the policy <laughs> and the politics my coaching mission has always been never choose the game over the people. And if we work from that, it's how we get through hmm. that. Any player that comes to you is a person before he's a player. And if you don't acknowledge that, then you, you cannot have an authentic conversation with him. Your truth doesn't matter if you don't acknowledge him as a person before you acknowledge him as a player. Mm -hmm. is, that a, is that a statement of truth or not? A absolutely. And I love what you said. You said it isn't just getting through. It's how we get through. You know, we like to check off the box I got through. Yeah. But you know what? Um, it's like that movie, I think it was Braveheart, where William Wallace says, I want to die well. I want to die well. Life does not guarantee that everything's going to fall into your lap. 
And you're going to live, you're going to die, you're going to have many days of living and dying, hiring and firing, staying and leaving. And it's going to, it's going to, that, but, but there's, there's, there is a, a how you do those things with. It's not the quantity of something or the frequency of something or the fact that something just happened. It is the quality of your response. It's, it's the quality of how you, how you deal with that situation. It's, it's, and I'm, I'm convinced DP more, more than ever now, because we can't control everything, we are very response oriented. And so if, if the, the response can be very good or it can be very bad and very bad responses lead to all kinds of poor issues down the road, a great response gives you the best chance for rebound. It's necessary. Yes. It's necessary. And again, if you're out there listening, you want you have a question for Coach Brown, just put it on the text line. I'll read it to him. We'll get through it. But there's a big part of in, in the thing that you just said because how you get through, uh, you know, I have friends that I talk, you have to grow through what you go through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't just get through. You have to grow through it. And that friction is required for growth so that when you, if you're trying to change your situation and circumstance, you have to change. Hmm. You can't just expect it. You can't just want it. And to expect better from yourself, you have to ask better of yourself. So the University of Nebraska Athletic Department and the university itself Hmm. reached a point of friction and, and frustration this week. And you can talk about the individual people. You can talk about the groups. I think the way to make sure that this never happens again is to go back to the beginning and tell me what is most important. What is most important? What is the purpose of the university? What's the purpose of the athletic department? What is the purpose of the coaches and leaders, the grown-ups in the room? Because the grown-ups in the room you say you come from old black family, they'll tell you uh, the grownups get to set the temperature in the room. <laughs> mm. You touch my thermostat, we grab my fight. Right? Yes. So the leadership gets to set the temperature of the room. Mm. Coach, what can be done? What do you say to Husker Nation today on a Friday after the week that they've had? You're going to point to them to give them something else to focus on. Instead of the drama, instead of the chaos, what do you say to Husker Nation to make them heal, feel better, uh, kind of change their focus, get their eyes to a newer, better, greater thing? Mm. Well, you know, you, I, I wish it, it would be congruous with everyone. Uh, a one statement, a one size fits all, mm-hmm. probably doesn't. Mm-hmm. But, you know, uh, to live in the woulda, coulda, shoulda, um, is a, it, it's just a, uh, that's an endless, um, uh, empty route to go. And, and so I, I, you know, I, my, my whole thing is, is that I've got all that I need. I've got all that I need to live rightly before God and to maximize the ability, talent, and situation that he's given me. So I can live circumstance free and not circumstance based. If I have to rely on this person staying or leaving or this happening financially or this happening, even in the weather, if I have to just kind of govern all that and make all that happen, I'll go out of my mind. DP will fail and we do fail. But when I can trust the Lord God with all of that stuff, Every little thing in my life, no matter what happens, now I can do some bloody living. Like the living part. Our humanity is based on us being flawed at our core. You can't help it. It wasn't, you can't out, outgrow your, your makeup in the, in the original. But what you can do and what you choose and who you surround yourself with and how you're active in it, hmm. what you actually do, what is the thing that when you get up and you say, you know what, it's another day. I, I live by, 
I have a shirt in my closet that I, I never wear, but I see it all the time. And it says, I'm undefeated. I've never faced a thing or a day that beat me. And we carry stress and, and fear with us. But when I wake up every day, I say, thank you, because it's another one. And I, that's all I can ask for is one more day. Hmm. And so I say thank you because hmm. it's another day. The thing that stressed me yesterday didn't get me. Hmm. So you learn after a while, what am I afraid of? Yeah. Like it's what is your thing that helps you get up in the morning and go? I think what I need to do every day. And I know not everybody would agree with me, but you know what? I'm I'm not here. I'm not I'm not here to <laughs> to to recruit anybody right. for this. Huh. But I would say that I need to dust off the scoreboard every day. <laughs> and what I mean by that, <laughs> what I mean by that, DP, <laughs> is that I cannot force anyone to believe what I believe or anyone to believe in who they should believe in my huh. opinion. Huh. But one thing I can do is that I can be a part of dusting off the scoreboard so that everybody can see who's the winner and who's the loser. Yeah. And when I do that, I realize that God is the winner and I am the loser. And people don't like to hear that, but you know what, man? The Bible says if a man will lose his life for the sake of Christ, he will gain it. He will win it. And so that's why, I, and like I said, that's why I preface this statement with not everybody's going to believe not everybody. this. everybody. We're okay. But you ask me what I do, what I believe, and I have to be honest about what I believe. This is your hour, sir. <laughs> no, no, this it. is your hour. S speak it how you speak it. <laughs> so it's not user friendly. Yeah. But, you know, there's another verse in the Bible in Philippians 4 th 13 that says, I can do all things through Christ yeah. who gives me strength. And that verse sometimes gets thrown out of out of whack, I think out of context, DP, but really what it means is that I, I can bear up under anything with the strength of Christ. So whatever gets slapped on me, another weight, another this, another that, and it seems like I couldn't take another five pounds of weight on me. Here comes 15 more. Mm -hmm. But because of Christ, I can bear up under it. That's who gives me the strength to do it. That's where I get my strength. On my own, I can't do it. Yeah, I, but that's the thing. Like in a week of difficulty, this community and the people who love Husker athletics and they love Lincoln and they love Nebraska, they took, they had to look in the mirror and reassess everything that they loved and cared about and then to have to figure out how to get through. And there was, I was on a, on a speakers group this, this Monday, but believe it was. And I said, I had found a new life hack, which meant that I needed to fall in love with my day every day. As it is, mm -hmm. I had to fall in love with my day as it is every day. That some days I'm going to be a bit disheveled. Yeah. I'm going to be a little bit weaker. Some days I'm going to pick the wrong outfit. I'm going to trip walking down the street. I'm going to eat the wrong thing. I'm going to have the wrong craving. Mm -hmm. But if it was given to me in full, mm -hmm. it's a pretty amazing day once I accept that it's my day. Yeah, and you, <laughs> and, and, you, and you and you were talking about that friction that yeah, happens during right. the course of a day. Yeah. I think one of the great challenges of life that we should all that we should all take part in is turning the friction into traction. Mm -hmm. If if that takes place, then actually what was meant as evil or bad turns into the leverage for good. It's actual fuel. That's exactly it, right. It's the actual fuel. And I said that because, listen, at a time where Husker Athletics, you're, 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 you've had a, a great weekend last week on women's basketball. They surpassed any expectation by making it to the, to the championship, mm -hmm. tournament championship. The men are having the greatest season they've had since 1994, you know, 95, 96, 97. They got a chance to do something pretty exceptional this weekend and next mm -hmm. baseball RPI off the chart. You've got the best softball player in the, in the country uh, wearing the scarlet and cream Mark Manning and the, and the wrestling team mm -hmm. sitting uh, third in the big 10 fifth in the country. 
you've got some amazing stories, mm -hmm. some amazing young people, some great leaders, some great coaches that you would put this coaching, if you lined up the coaches at Nebraska and had them face-to-face -to, -face to any program in the country, you're pretty comfortable in the good people mm -hmm. that represent you. Don't get lost in somebody else's foolishness and some other distraction. It's good to see that some things need to change. You know, I, I remember years ago, DP, when it got really low here in the football department. In fact, it was 1990. And when I got here in 1987, we were a top 10 team. Um, we, uh, we won most all of our games, but we would always lose either to Oklahoma at the end of the year and then to Miami in the bowl game or some one of those great Florida teams or what have you. And so people were always a little bit down in the mouth, even though we were 11 and one or 10 and two or whatever it was. But we were usually a top 10 team. But in 1990, we lost to Georgia Tech in the Citrus Bowl. And we had lost prior to that um, to, um, uh, we lost to Colorado late in the season um, in, a, in, a, in a game here that we, and then we went down in Oklahoma and, and lost to them. So everybody was down on us. And I remember, I never thought I would hear this. We finished number 24 in the country that year. Coach Osborne, we all got, we all came into the office, getting ready to go out recruiting and all this. And coach Osborne said, listen, boys, he said, if you guys need to go and get jobs, um, you, you probably ought to do it. He says, because there's a good chance we'll, we'll get fired. And we all sat there and just looked at each other and we, we just, shook our heads because none of us could believe it. You know, some of those, and I was a young guy, uh, but Solich and, and Tenniper and Young and McBride and Darlington, and, you know, all those guys, they were all sitting there and everybody just was hard mouth, kind of quiet, but you know what? Nobody left. And you know what? Coach Osborne turned that friction into traction. In other words, we started the unity council. Then there were some bursts that came out of the death. There was a death and there was a resurrection. Hey, Amen. And that program was never the same after that. Now, we didn't automatically start winning national championships, but but there was a recovery. You had to go through that. We had, had to go through that. had to go through that stuff. It was low. It was dark. It was like, you know what? Is there anywhere else that we, we can be used and people will appreciate? Because even though we were 9-3 and three that year, finishing 24th in the nation, it didn't meet the standard that people wanted from us. They wanted us to be national champions, and we hadn't done that yet. So is nine and three would sound pretty good for a lot of teams. But, for most. But but for us, it was a downer. But what I loved was, Coach, we talked about this already today, Coach Osborne's response. It wasn't, I give up. He was gracious enough to tell us the truth mm -hmm. and said, if you guys need to leave, I understand it. I'm not going to sit here and try to hold on to you. but. We're, we're, we're going to, we're going to be circumstance free here. And I loved what took place. And within a couple of years, DP, we were in the national championship game. And then we soared for three national titles in the next four years. And you said it, it, we needed to go through that to, to launch it. So, so sometimes what looks bad is the very, that friction is the very traction that you need uh, to really maximize your God given talent. This is how I know um, that you having, voice on this station is so vital because all of the journeys and stories and lessons learned sometimes need a reminder sometimes it needs to be echoed and bellied and just bellowed at the top of the lawn that you know what growth requires friction it just does and this is just one of those moments i don't think husker nation is weak enough to be succumbed by this week's friction. Mm -hmm. I think, as we said, you use it, you find a way to propel. Hopefully, forward and up is where we go. We'll take questions for Coach Brown, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about this week because this week requires that Coach Brown give us some guidance, and he said we need for him to point us in the next direction. We'll be right back. Download our app by searching 93.7 The Ticket in your app store. You're listening to One on One with DP on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. 
Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid March. Join 937 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd, at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it. And stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O. Problem gambling can destroy an individual's finances, relationships, physical, and mental health. If you or a loved one are struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping to meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending. We're here for you, your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. This is Monster Jam. Witness Big Air, two wheel skills, backflips, and all out racing. It's the only place to see the world's best drivers tear up the dirt in your favorite Monster Jam trucks like Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and more. It's big time fun for the whole family. Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. Brought to you by Big 80 Tires, Great Clips, and the original Super Glue. 937 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today. Scattered showers likely throughout the day. It'll be breezy too, with an afternoon high around 50. Tonight, a slight chance of showers early, then mostly cloudy and a low around 36. And tomorrow, mostly sunny skies for return. We'll see an afternoon high around 58. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clicker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, don't be ready. 
Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You're listening to One on One with DP. Brought to you by Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Coach Ron Brown is with us one-on-one on a Friday, trying to give you some nourishment and some food for to take it to your weekend. You know, makes you feel better. If you eat good food, you feel better. <laughs> and so Coach Brown is giving you some nuggets. You, you know what makes you hungry, DP? What's that? Eating, man. Ah, <laughs> you got to eat, you man. Know, you, That's you, what makes you hungry. You know, <laughs> the, the folks here, Husker Nation has gone through a week. <laughs> it is a week. Coach, can I ask you what when 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 a young when a football player comes to you mm-hmm. and says, Coach, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. How are you able to put down everything else to simply say, I'm here for you? Well, I think you literally do have to put down everything else for you because that's exactly what I told his mom and dad when we were recruiting them. And integrity says that it, integrity means it, it comes from the root word integer, which means we're not fractions. We're not partial. We are whole numbers. One is a whole number cannot be divided. So what one thinks what is, it should be what one says should be what one does should be what, what one is. And so all of that is a connection. And so when we fragment that, when we are partial, when we tell a kid uh, something that really isn't all, true, that's a lack of integrity. And, and so integrity is huge. And it probably, as much as anything else, ba- breaks the backs of relationships. It's, it's the it's the bendability. You know, it's, it's the difference between a cheerleader and an umpire. And this is not an affront on cheerleaders, right. but cheerleaders are going to cheer. Think about this. If you, if you, if an umpire makes a bad call and it goes in favor of the cheerleading team, mm-hmm. they're going to be cheering. They're going to cheer. So there, there's a role for cheerleaders, mm-hmm. but umpires can't be cheerleaders. No. An umpire has to be an integrous man or woman that calls balls and strikes. You got to call a good game in life. And, and so the balls and strikes are not just behind home plate. They're in everything we do on our jobs, off our jobs, in the recruiting, how we're dealing with in the athletic department, what we say, what we do, what we think it's, it's all about that. Coach, is it true that, that, that everything in sports, so let's talk about, you know, programs that you've been a part of that everything is either coached or allowed yeah yeah we used to have a sign up in our in our offices that said whatever you see on film is either coached or allowed and um so that that was always convicting because i think so many times we want to take that index finger when something goes wrong or we want to point it at somebody but uh we need to bring back the thumb and point the thumb in That's a lot so of situations. Good. That's so good. <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. I, you know what? As a co- uh, like, put that on a shirt. That needs to be on a shirt. Like, well, let's bring back the thumb. When I think, like, of, <laughs> when I think of the index finger, I think of that on the Wizard of Oz, that witch with that bony long finger that she, yeah, 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 pointing less, it at people. Less fingertip, more thumb. I, yeah, you know, there you go. Like, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there's a thing. There's a thing that that found me today. Uh, and it's it's a Walt Whitman quote, but it's also actually I think it's in the system, Ben. If you would look in the system under, it was probably under old school. Um, but there's a thing that it's Walt Whitman and uh, Ted Lasso uh, is a is a TV show about a coach who goes over to Britain, and in that Ted Lasso says a thing that stopped me in my tracks because I felt it for Husker fans going through this week, and it says. Be curious, not judgmental. 
And he then proceeds to tell the story of how he's often not seen. People see him less than he is because they aren't curious to ask mm-hmm. who he actually is. And I went, oh, I felt that. Like mm-hmm. I felt I received that, mm-hmm. that we spend a lot of time as fans judging situation circumstance that we're not familiar with or not connected to. Mm. We should be curious about the things that are good in Nebraska athletics. We should be curious about the things that need changing. Ben, if you would go ahead and play that. I think it's a, it's in the system. Guys have underestimated me my entire life. And for years, I never understood why I used to really bother me. But then one day I was driving my little boy to school and I saw this, quote by Walt Whitman, it was painted on the wall there. It said, be curious, not judgmental. I like that. So I get back in my car and I'm driving to work and all of a sudden it hits me. All them fellas that used to belittle me, not a single one of them were curious. You know, they thought they had everything all figured out. And so they judged everything and they judged everyone. And I realized that they're underestimating me. <sighs> Who I was had nothing to do with it. Because <laughs> if they were curious, they would ask questions. You know? Questions like, have you played a lot of darts, Ted? <laughs> <laughs> Which I would have answered, yes, sir. <laughs> Every Sunday afternoon at a sports bar with my father from age 10 to I was 16 when he passed away. Barbecue sauce. Like we all have that thing, right? Where he, somebody challenged him to, to a darts contest, or mm-hmm. something important. Mm-hmm. Thinking as he pulls out his own dart set that this dude can't be where I am. Mm-hmm. And it was not curious enough to ask first. Mm-hmm. Hey, you play darts? You are you good at darts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And to imagine, right, Coach Brown, that there are young people that come to you on a regular basis, not to be judged by you, but to be curious by you. They mm. need for you to come to Coach Brown and say, hey, hey, Coach Brown, how are you doing today? Knowing that you're going to say, what's going on with you? <laughs> you know, you know that, that, <laughs> that, that, that is so true. And, and you know what it reminds me of? And I don't know if I've shared this story with you before, DP, but um, years ago, I was recruiting probably about 10 years ago when he was still in high school, maybe 12 years ago. Christian McCaffrey, of course, was the was the uh, offensive player of the year in the National Football League this yeah. year. Had a great year. And, and it's really played well in the, in the NFL. Had a great college career. But I was recruiting Christian uh, knowing that mom and dad went to Stanford and Stanford was on him hard. He eventually went to Stanford. But while we were going through the recruiting process, I was coaching running backs here. And and I, I he said, Coach Brown, he said, why do you keep calling me? Why do you keep coming by my school? Why do you keep recruiting me? He says, uh, um, you know, I said, because I think you're a terrific player. He goes, really? I said, I said, yes. And I said, why do you keep being interested? Why do you keep picking up the phone? No, I'm calling. And this is what he said. He said, Coach, everybody thinks because I'm a white running back, I can't make it. And he said, you know what? I, he said, you not only have told me that I could be good, but he said, I see you playing Rex Burkhead at Nebraska. And he says, you know what? That gives me hope. It makes me feel like you're not just looking at me and assuming you're curious, coach, so to speak, is what he was saying without saying it. Right. But coach. Rather than judging him on the color of his skin, whether he could run a football or not. So... You know what? Everybody knows now that boy can run the football. Yeah, we, you know, you, you miss uh, the the phrase that that Joe Gibbs, great Joe Gibbs from Washington, he said, it, "It's my job as a coach to be present, to be present for anybody, any situation, any circumstance. I have to be present. So if I'm seeing, if I'm evaluating a player, mm-hmm. I can't look at that player for anything other than what that player applies to." If I'm talking to a coach and I may have to hire somebody, 
I can't judge him by the last coach. Hmm. I have to look at him and say, can you do this thing for me that I need done? Are you capable of doing the thing? Are you willing to do, right? The curiosity says, not only am I going to talk to you about it, Hmm. but I'm going to go into some detail and depth about it Hmm. specific to you. Hmm. And it's just like, I think coaches miss it. Great coaches. And I, I think a big part of your longevity is that you have a point of contact, but you still remain present. Well, uh, yeah, well, well, thank you. But, um, you know, uh, the only bad thing about that whole thing is he didn't come to Nebraska. <laughs> well, well, his little brother came. His little brother, little brother came. Got here, his yeah. little brother came. Yeah. So, listen, sometimes, the, That's true. That's sometimes true. you get fruit later on from That's a seed you planted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was going to be hard to beat out Stanford when mom and dad went there. But, oh, man. But, but you know what? It's, it's just sad that there's so much of that. Not only in life, but you know, we see it in the sports area all the time. And being able to break all that stuff up and pour love into people, um, and and that judgmental, uh, stereotypical, I know what that guy can do or can't do, without going and asking the questions and taking true inventory and getting in the paint with that young man or young lady, that's what's important. It, it was a conversation Ben and I had in the last hour because for a young man that decides. He wants to go to school uh, to better his place, and it's the thing that he loves. And if I don't ask him why, Mm. I've done him a huge disservice. Mm. Um, And it's important, and and I appreciate the fact that, as I told him, his parents came in when he first started interning here, and uh, we chopped it up. Uh, Question for you. So my question for the amazing Coach Brown is, uh, as a leader of young men, how do you connect uh, with young men when they have no faith? Well, I, there's something that I require more than faith for them to have faith. And that is, I require from me love to them, no matter what, no matter where they are. uh, I've asked the Lord to help me to love those young men and to find ways to love them and put my arms around them. And it, 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 it comes in a variety of forms. It comes from firmness. It comes from tenderness. It comes from uh, asking questions. It comes from visiting their homes and getting on the phone with their parents and doing things with them off the field. I mean, it's just a variety of things. I wish we could give. There's a long laundry list, but I have to be willing to, um, again, die to myself. And, um, that opens up the door for me to love on them. But if I'm in my feelings, I'll do a poor job. Yeah. It, 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 it is spectacular to know and to hear that, yes, there are people in the athletic department, specifically in the football program, who are there for good. And I, listen, I, I've said this to the text line. Some folks want to get on and get angry, you can be venomous. And I say, listen, no matter how you feel, we can both decide to need it good. Hmm. And where we go from there is much easier and better than that. Well, throw it to break. I got one more question for you to ask you. Uh, they're asking for your opinion, your own personal opinion. You cannot be wrong mm-hmm. in your personal opinion of Trev Albert. And I'll let you speak on him because you deserve the right to say what you want to say today. So Coach Brown will give us that when we come back to one-on-one. Watch live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. You're listening to One on One with DP on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. At Fairway Meat Market, your family. And as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now through March 17th, prepare for St. Patrick's Day with great options like corned beef brisket point cuts for $3.99 per pound and six packs of Guinness for just $4.88 when you buy at least $5.01 in fresh meat. And for ticket listeners only, get USDA Choice Eye of Round Roast for $3.99 per pound. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Shopping Square Center just south of 84th and Van Dorn. This is Monster Jam. Witness Big Air, two wheel skills, backflips, and all out racing. It's the only place to see the world's best drivers tear up the dirt in your favorite Monster Jam trucks like Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and more. It's big time fun for the whole family. 
Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. Brought to you by Big 80 Tires, Great Clips, and the original Super Glue. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at les.com slash report. Join us on Saturday, March 16th for Taylor Swift Night at the Icebox. We'll be jamming to the best hits from Travis Kelsey's girlfriend all night, and you can be part of the fun, too. The first 500 fans in attendance will receive a friendship bracelet, while the first 200 fans will get a Stars Taylor Swift-themed poster. Are you ready for it? Get your tickets now at LincolnStars.com. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in, pick out a new Honda, and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our Customer Service Experience Award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite. And we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. Tune in every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. for the Malone Radio Show on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about the Malone Community Center's goal to eliminate multi-generational poverty in Lincoln and the surrounding area. It's the Malone Radio Show with Executive Director John Goodwin and Sports Director Mike Hunter every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hi, everyone. Kendall Warnock. A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs and we'll be here for you when you need us the most. For all your travels and for your day-to-day -day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Leavitt and L Street downtown, always honest answers. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. You're listening to One on One with DP.
Sponsored by Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. One nation under a group. That's Husker Nation. One nation, one Husker Nation under a group. Mm. That's that. Look, if it ain't for all of us, mm. it shouldn't be for any of us. Mm. <laughs> Just come be simple with it. Ben, we have a text. Yeah, can you read it, please? Yeah, texter has a Coach Brown story. He's, they said, back in 2000, we were in Lincoln to play in the Class D1 state championship game. It was a Thursday, and the Huskers were walking past as they had just finished practice. I recognized Coach, and for some reason, I said, Turner Gill. He stuck out his hand and said, Ron Brown, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> it is a funny thing. Like, how many times in, in, in Lincoln I get asked if I'm somebody else? <laughs> Coach, I know you must get it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've got it over the years a little bit. But, you know, it's, uh, it's all right, man. Coach, we were asked for your your opinion, your words on Trev Albers. Whatever you want to say about it, you have earned the right to do so. Well, I love Trev Albers. I go way back with Trev. Um, uh, Coach Osborne, John Melton, and myself were at Trev's house. I think it was in 1988. I think he was probably 17 years old the day he committed to us. Mom and Dad were on the couch. We were up there in uh, in Iowa. Uh, we were thrilled. He was a great player in high school. We knew we were getting somebody special. But, you know, um, what I saw there was just a um, a real strong family. Um, there was, um, you know, there, it was way more uh, substance than style. It wasn't about, you know, uh, you got to do this for me. You got to do that for me. He, he really was grounded with some really good things. And his dear mom, I know, has passed. I've I've been with his dad uh, this year. I've got a chance to speak to his dad a couple, two or three times, and and love his dad. Um, Trev, uh, when he played here, uh, from time to time, we we had some good talks. Uh, I'm giving you this history because it you were talking about it earlier. I, I, we can all make fast judgments, mm -hmm. quick draw, gun smoke, you know, the rifleman uh, fast draws and shoot somebody down. But we're, I'm talking curiously now. I'm 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 looking at the breadth of this, and I'm just going back on my history with Trevor. I remember he went on to uh, to play in the National Football League. I know he had injury and it kind of shortened his career. A very talented guy, he's an academic All American. Um, went and worked for ESPN, I, I believe, for a while. I remember when he left ESPN, um, he ended up calling calling me. I was one of the guys he probably talked to, and he kind of told me some of the reasons and. Uh, just what he was thinking through. Um, you know, I appreciated that. Um, I felt like he always wanted to talk things through and he wasn't just a quick, you know, rash kind of a guy. Right. Um, but uh, I, I would say that um, the way I'm, I'm looking at this is that I, I love Trev, man. I listen, we, we, we're all in our curiosity. We're not going to have all our questions answered. I don't really know all the answers. I haven't talked to him about this. Um, so I'm not going to point that finger of judgment, that index finger. I'm going to point the thumb and say, Ron Brown, you make sure no matter how you feel right now, because I, I would love him to stay, but uh, no matter, even if I don't know all the answers, I'm not going to throw that finger of judgment on it because, because I don't know all the answers. And so I'm going to go back to me, thumbs pointed at me, saying, how are you going to respond? And are you going to jump on the bandwagon and just kind of listen to everybody and be like Punch's pilot and just, you know, decide I'm going to do this because I want to please the crowd? Just nod my head and, no, I'm going to sit back and listen. I don't know enough to make any further judgment other than I love them, I, I'm I, I I at least ought to assume that he has prayerfully gone through this with his wife and family and the people that that he needed to connect with and made a decision. And other than that, I mean, I wouldn't want to be treated any other way. Love your neighbor as yourself. I would not want to be treated as if I was a criminal because I had to make a tough decision without. First of all, um, there being some real dialogue 
if it's any of your business. It, it's it's all that is that the humanity side of it is the man that you are knows the man that he is. You've built a relationship. Um, those experiences can't be taken away. Whatever situation or circumstance exists, mm -hmm. we can go forward and we can go up. <laughs> you know, DP, like I said earlier, heavy on the truth, light on my feet. I mean, I, 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 I can wish, I can hope for things. And I would say that probably of all the things in my life, I would say probably 80% of all the things that I've hoped for have never happened. And, and things that I hoped wouldn't happen, happened. But the 20%, man, I can live with it. I'm good. excited about, about that 20%. Something good. And I say it all the time. Universe ain't never wrong. <laughs> it, it gave me some things that, that, that I needed, and it kept away some, from things I wanted. You know, Coach Osborne used to say this, DP. He said, look, maybe we made a mistake in, in that recruit. Uh, he's here now. Let's let's make sure it's not a mistake. Got to go forward. Let's turn turn the the, the the deal going forward here, like you're saying, and we're going to make it a right decision. If they ended up here, it was a right decision. Yeah, because they got better for it. Coach, we'll do it again next week. Appreciate you. you. Much respect. Thank you. G All thank love. You. Appreciate Thanks you for the nuggets. Good stuff, Ben. Thank you for doing what you do, young man. Uh, we know the Nori's coming up later. Ticket weeknights. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Have a safe Friday night. Love yourself. Then love the next one. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures 